this record in particular, I only jumped on board after the original tracking date because Joey was um, not feeling great. They went in into a studio where they just really, really laid it down. They ended up, I think, tracking in one day all of the record. That's when I stepped in. Rory called me and asked me if I could um, help him finish the record because, you know, as you could understand, they had a bunch of personal things, although this was really important to Joey, so it was really important to Rory. There's so many people that rise to a level where they should be recognized, but they just sort of simmer until there's a perfect moment for them to emerge. And, and this is their moment, unfortunately. It, it's surrounded by a, you know, a lot of sadness with her story. But um, they've always been good enough. They've been great, and they've been very popular in, in country music, and everyone does know them, but now people on a global level are getting to know them and hear about their story. So yes, I'm honored to be a part of it. I'm not surprised, but you're always surprised when something actually breaks through, and it appears as though this is breaking through and, and touching a lot of people. And um, anytime you can be part of a project where you're a perfect fit for what their needs are, that's great too, and I felt like for this record, uh, it was a good match, and I was able to really show up for them and, and, and help them get this record done. Well, this record in particular, I had worked on a record two years earlier with them that was also an inspirational record. We recorded it here at the barn. They shot a DVD for that here at the barn, which was part concert footage, as well as a lot of B-roll from the actual sessions. So it was great to do this record with them again because we had kind of been in this mode where we had done it before. But their focus and priority was being with each other and, and sort of cherishing the time that they had. So I sort of hunkered down um, and just made hay. So digging into the, the tracks that were there as well as went up to Indiana where she's, um, where she's staying with her family and recorded some background vocals up there at the Gaither studio, which was, which was great. Just kept bringing, just collecting media and then just sort of sifting through it finding the best versions of everything. And then of course, you know, um, having to build that final mix from what it is that you have there. Because you know, all the parts are there. You just have to find them. Some of them you're worried aren't there because there's that, there you always have the opportunity to call someone back in if there's a problem. But on this record, we didn't have that. She's always had a voice that's been a classic voice. It was one of those voices that when you heard it, it felt like the voice of a decade or a generation or you'd hear it 100 years later and you'd just recognize it, you know? And it was my job on this record to make sure that that voice stayed, like, I almost would have accepted the record sounding bad, as long as the vocals sounded great. And, and she's never failed in that respect. She's always delivered. And even, you know, through how difficult it must have been for her to deliver in this instance, you know, we still had golden vocals. We ended up in a situation where we had, um, where you have magic. And you can't always predict magic. And I'm glad that it was magic for them. It was the perfect time for them to have magic. And I'm, I was sort of the purveyor or the overseer to make sure that that didn't get diluted or didn't become something else along the line. Uh, and I took it really seriously because I love them. And this is what I could do for them. This is how I could perfectly serve the two of them in this instance was to, to take over something that I knew was really important to them and to really deliver something that, that I was proud of and I knew would represent them and what it is they're trying to do, the legacy they were trying to leave. It was an honor to be a part of it. And um, at a certain point, I could see the magic sort of coming out in the record. And as a producer, once you recognize that, you just do what you can to, to make sure that you don't mess with it and you don't lose it. You don't overanalyze it. And I think we did that. This record's a, it's a special record. I'm excited to be a part of it. It's the kind of thing where it could go on and become bigger than itself. It's got all the right attributes. We'll see.